Hi, welcome to an NX12 video tutorial. Another remake of an old one. And I've already opened the combustion chamber start step file, which you can download from my CrabCat account to follow these exercises. So let's take a look. For the first chamber, I want to use a law extension surface. Type would be vector and it should go around with that curve. Vector would be the x-axis, yes, and it should be constant, 20 millimeters, yes. And I want to have an angle law, and it should be minus 5 in this case, like this. Yeah, and maybe, let's go for 25, and OK, confirm. Then... Let's go for an extrude with this one. Direction is OK. And it should be symmetric and maybe 40 millimeter. And OK. Now let's add an edge blend. I want to go for 10 millimeters on this edge because otherwise I will not be able to do that variable radius fill it. That's OK. Confirm. Now let's trim that sheet. I want to trim this one with that one. 40 faces, yes, and I want to keep that selected region, yes, apply. And then trim this one, select it here, with that one here. And OK. Nice. Now let's sew those together, this one and that one. And OK. And maybe hide those curves. OK, now for the edge blend. How to get a point right there on this small edge in the middle. That's kind of a problem. So go for edge blend, go for one millimeter, yes, select the complete edge. It will go all around. Then I need certain points to make sure it will stay at one millimeter. Let's go for endpoint here, endpoint there, endpoint here, and over there. I'm not able to select here the midpoint on that small edge. I could go for here, that endpoint, and this endpoint. So go for this endpoint, that endpoint, this endpoint, and that endpoint. And now I could change those radius. This one might be 10. That one might be 10, this one might be 10, and that one might be 10. OK, and confirm. Let's see if I can change that edge blend here to 5 mm. But I think that will not work, but let's try. Yeah. So it's more like the Katia version. And that would be the first chamber. Now, I could hide that edge blend here and bring back my these and I would like to do now the second chamber. Therefore I need another extrude here. This one again make it symmetric, make it again 40 millimeters and confirm. And I will need a law extension here but in the other direction again with 5 degrees. So let's go to surface 
flow extension, select the curve. Again, it's a vector type, select the vector. And now it should go in the other direction and minus 5 would be OK. I don't need 25, 10 should do. And OK. Then I want to project that curve onto this surface. So go for curve, project curve, this curve here, onto that object, along that direction. And confirm. Now I forgot to add the edge blend, so go for this one here, make current feature, and add the edge blend of five millimeters here. Go for 5, confirm and OK. Now go back to the projected curve and see if it projected correctly. Yes, it does. Now let's go for a trim. Trim sheet, I want to trim that sheet with this curve. OK. Quite nice. Let's hide those curves here and hide the projected curve. And now I want to go for a section surface, which is almost identical to that sweeping cut here. So go for more, go for section surface. Type would be conic, mode would be row. The guides, the first guide would be this edge from that surface. End guide would be the edge of this surface. Make sure that's in the same direction, yes. The start phase, which constrains the tangency, would be this face all around. End phase would be that face here. Selection. Section mode row, yes, constant, yes, value 0 0.7. And I need a spine curve, and therefore I have to bring back the arcs like this and select that as spine curve. And confirm. Looks pretty good. Let's hide that law extension here and make a sew between this one and that one and okay and i'm done so hope it was helpful hope you liked it if you did please give it a like or leave a comment if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment please subscribe to my youtube channel please subscribe to my facebook cat fan page it would be very nice of you i want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well thanks for watching see you to the next one Bye-bye.